Have you ever wondered what it's like to play sports with a physical and a visual disability? I have CVI or cortical visual impairment as well as right hemiplegia and today I'm going to be playing tennis. Now, I wanted to make this video because I have talked about how I ride a bike with both CVI or cortical visual impairment and right hemiplegia, but I haven't really talked about the other sports that I've played. I haven't done a lot of sports, but I have done a bit of basketball and other things as well. I have hit a tennis ball before, and although my depth perception is a little bit bad, I still managed to do quite well. I did play sports in school as well. But because of my vision impairment, it makes it kind of challenging and then throwing in my physical disability as well. However, I wanted to share this with you because I thought it could be fun. I got the opportunity to play tennis as part of blind sports and it was something I struggled with a little bit in the past. So I was really excited to be given this opportunity. First, we started off with warm-ups, trying to figure out what people could do. I liked the colourful balls a lot better than the ones that made sound, just because it was easier for me to see. And I did pretty well, slowly getting the hang of what to do. Tennis is definitely a very tricky game, and when you've got bad depth perception, it's a little bit off. So that was something I struggled with as well, just being slightly off of when to hit the ball. We had these low impact balls that helped with bounce. It slowed it down, so it wasn't too bad. But in the end, I had someone drop the ball for me to hit, and that worked really well. The red and yellow low impact tennis balls are perfect for someone like me who still has sight. Those beeping balls, especially the black ones, are really hard to follow on courts like these. So having these balls definitely helped me so much. The slow bounce made it a lot easier for me to be able to see the ball and able to hit it. However, I still couldn't serve it myself and needed someone to drop it in front of me in order for me to hit it. Although I still struggled to serve and hit the ball, I had someone who slowed things down for me enough for me to do a bit of a relay back and forth, which was so great and I was so proud of myself. I think I did really well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then don't forget to smash it a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!